You're watching News 10 ABC at 9 a.m. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for staying with us out there. With school back in session, parents and grandparents, you might be posting more pictures of your kids online, right? But experts say that information, it could end up in the wrong hands. To talk more about safety, I'm here right now with FBI SSA Samantha Balterson. Thank you for joining us, Samantha. Thank you so much for having me. So you've been a cybersecurity expert for a long time, and you've been with the FBI for almost 20 years at this point. What's your message for parents and grandparents out there? Just to try and remember to think about the physical and cyber security implications of posting too much information and sh oversharing your child's information online. Now, I was just scrolling on Facebook and people are posting photos of their kids. And a lot of times we see it's growing in popularity, these boards where the kids will hold up their information like this in a little plaque. We have a photo on your screen here and you'll see it where they're listing what school they go to, what their age is, really a lot of personal information. What should people keep in mind when they're using these boards, Samantha? Well, it's wonderful to be so proud of your child and all at the same time, all the information that you're putting out on there, you're giving cyber thieves an opportunity to steal information on your child that they can use to commit fraud in your child's name, um, to cyber bully or extort your child later on, um, or to even create AI generated images of your child. As we're kind of going throughout the year, what other moments should parents keep in mind when it comes to posting, maybe even when they're going out of town? The posting when you go out of town especially um, can be a problem <laughs> because what happens is now you're telling the thieves, this is an opportunity to potentially break into our house. Posting vacation pictures is a great thing, fun to share with friends. Two recommendations, one, post when you get back, not while you're out. And also, if you're limiting your Facebook profile to your friends, they're the only ones who are really gonna see those pictures and you don't necessarily have to be as stressed out about it. Now, talking about stress and anxiety, it makes me think of that a lot of the kids have been talking about how they're nervous to go back to school, especially since the pandemic. When it comes to going back to school and having those social interactions again, we know that cyberbullying is a real problem. What should parents be talking to their kids about when it comes to that bullying? Having that open dialogue with their children, making sure that they're checking in, don't let their children have their phones overnight in their rooms where a lot of that messaging can also take place. Um, and also having the opportunity to, you know, go over how you should use your social media accounts, being a good digital citizen, um, and, and just that open dialogue of, hey, something's going on, this isn't quite right, it makes me feel bad. Another really tough subject, but I know that the all FBI here in Albany specifically has been seeing a rise in cases of sextortion, which again is such a tough topic to broach with your child. How do we approach that? It is very difficult, especially uh, depending on the age of your child. So trying to make it as age appropriate as, as possible and saying, you know, sometimes people take um, pictures and share them with other people. And, you know, sometimes we wanna limit that and make sure that we're watching exactly what we send people. Because when you take a picture and you send it to someone, you lose control of that picture. And it can be sent everywhere. It could be sent, you know, to friends and family and you don't wanna do that. So. It's when appropriate sharing of photos, you know, it's okay to share a photo of you kicking a soccer ball. It's okay to share a photo of you playing volleyball or a game with your friends. Um, but that next step of any time, if somebody sends you an inappropriate picture, bring it to the attention of a trusted adult right away. Even if they are making one of those threats, they're unfounded and always go to a trusted adult. I'm absolutely, sure. absolutely. So before we go, I just want to mention you all have a program online that kids can take, parents can take. What is that, Samantha? Uh, safe online surfing. And uh, if you go to the FBI website, fbi.gov, um, you can navigate there and it has a great uh, site for three to 12 year olds or even adults uh, to go through a program that talks about safe surfing online. Perfect. Samantha, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us some insight on this. Thank you for having me. It's 929 right now. We're going to be back here with more news and an update on your forecast. It is hot out there, everyone. We'll be right back.